the Go Racing in Kildare Stakes is next. Uh, this is the two and a half mile maiden over the full Ascot Gold Cup trip and over the full Ascot Gold Cup course as well. So Kiko's Accord for David Robertson at the top, Confidant Footsy for Alex Cherry, Devilish Game Darren Thompson, Jumping Bean Graham Clutterbuck, Lady Bell River, Padre Hogan, Nero's Diamond, Craig Beckwith, Santa Rosa, Monkey, Vinnie Gerard, Six Fields, Martin Leadham, and Southern Comfort for Paul Robes. They're all installed and ready to go. The rain's still coming down and away and racing. And everybody dreaming they've got an Ascot Gold Cup potential horse here. They'll find out in the next five or six minutes whether they will be indeed heading towards the Royal Meeting of the Gold Cup or whether they'll be off to the likes of Southall and Wolverhampton for those two and a half mile all weather championship races and confidant footsie is the first one to show leading by about four lengths to lady well river showing second and the rest of them are virtually in a line at this early point there's a little group of race goers who've decided to go and stand out in the middle of nowhere to watch the racing for some reason and get very really wet at the same time but anyway it's confidant footsie in the lead for Alex Cherry and his slight alternate colours with the blue cap as they come up past the stand. And a big old track axle Ascot, so they've only got one more circuit to go. If this was at Wolverhampton, they've got to go to three more times yet. And it's Confidant Footsy in the lead from oh, Lady Well River second, Six Fields is third, and then Southern Comfort fourth. Now this near side rail devilish game in the Maroon with the white sleeves. And Graham Clutterbox Welsh flank colours on Jumping Bean are next. And the back three from the inside out, if you like, the turquoise and purple for David Robertson is Kiko's Accord. The all green or shades of green for Santa Rosa Monk in Vinnie Gerard and then widest on the track. Craig Beck with Nero's Diamond and the dark blue with the white sleeves. And the white cap, so racing down onto the back straight then now, and it's Confidant Footsy in the lead for Alex Cherry. Padre Hogan's Lady Well River is second, Six Fields is third, and the Southern Comfort fourth. A devilish game after that one. Southern Comfort might be Paul Rhodes, who will christen the professor of many colours this season, as he seems to have more silks than the rest of us put together. And it's Confidant Footsy in the lead. Southern Comfort second, Six Fields third, Devilish Game and Ladywell River, and Kiko's Accord, and Jumping Bean, the little gap of a couple of lengths back to Santa Rosa Monkey, and Nero's Diamond. Notably missing from the flat this week, Josh Southern not put his flat team until next week. He's normally involved in these big races, and also John Morgan has made an appearance on the forums today. And it looks like he will be around later in the season. He's normally pretty good at these races as well. So if you win this one, don't necessarily think you're going to win the Ascot Gold Cup because I'm sure one of those two have got something to come. And six Fields has now come through on the outside to take it up. On Lady Will River second. And then Confidant Footsie is third. Kiko's a cord fourth. And Santa Rosa Monkey, devilish game after that one. And Jumping Bean. Southern Comfort and finally Nero's Dom and the field is pretty tightly grouped then as they already making their way down towards the final five furlongs and Lady Well River in the yellow is just about the leader Kiko's Accord though is going nicely and splits that one on six fields to make a line of three Santa Rosa Monkeys going around the outside in the shades of green as Confidant Footsie, the early leader, just being niggled along a little bit now Jumping Bean in the maroon starting to make a forward move so too is Devilish Game they're swinging homewards and Kiko's Accord has hit the front from Santa Rosa Monkey in second. Six Fields is in third, then Jumping Bean and Devilish Game. Nero's Diamond is trying to run on as well, but it's 
Santa Rosa Monkey in the green up the centre of the track from Key Goes and Call. These two have pulled away from the rest of them, and it's Santa Rosa Monkey who looks the stronger at the moment, about three quarters of a length up on Key Goes and Call down on this near side. There's still a furlong and a half to go though. Santa Rosa Monkey now two lengths clear as Key Goes and Call starts to drop away. Santa Rosa Monkey two to three lengths clear. Back in third is Jumping Bean and Nero's Diamond, but it's Santa Rosa Monkey all the way at the moment as they're inside the far half furlong. And Jockey has a little look round. Santa Rosa Monkey is going to take this one quite easily. Santa Rosa Monkey wins it. Key goes and calls second in Devilish game third and Nero's Diamond after that one and all the way back to the long time leader Confidant Footsie. And I think Vinnie Gerard has mentioned that he's improved his stairs. Oh, that one has taken that one pretty cosily. Oh, probably see it. Rated out of the handicaps for a while. But Santa Rosa Monkey takes that for Vinnie Gerard. Key goes and called. For David Robertson second, Devilish Game Darren Thompson third, Nero's Diamond for Craig Beckwith fourth, and Jumping Bean for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.